Hello, this is the Rubius Arcos channel. <laughs> I know this is kind of weird saying this, but I'm going to start it off like this. But it's still Q Doma TV, as always. Even though it's the channel, I still call it Q Doma TV. But today, when I'm going to jump on, I'm going to jump on video games. Yes, I did a video game rant last time. This is my second video game rant. Well, First game I'm going to start on, before I really start going down the rosters, I'm going to start with Star Wars Battlefront. Now, the first one of a series in this uh, with the PlayStation 4, it looked nice. It was awesome. It, uh, it, had, it, had, a, it had a great design to it and feel. It had the aspects of a shooter. But it also had that that action adventure where you could fight as a as a person on the ground. But it had it has its issues in the sense that I felt there could have been more depth with this game. In the sense, it's like, all right, if I pick Luke Skywalker, the other guy is that's playing like with the multiplayer and there was a lot of multiplayer so it, it didn't leave a lot of room for single player which I thought kinda sucked in a sense because you know if you didn't have the online capability you was kinda just assed out and I feel when they come if they decide to do a part two to Battlefront they should alleviate that problem I feel that you should have a balanced of both you should have as many options with the multiplayer as with the online capability. And I can't express that more because it just doesn't work with the dynamic. If you have one and the other one is just like really lacking, it really throws things off course. And that's how that's what we call half ass games. I mean in my case I didn't technically buy that game. I bought it and it came with my system. So it it worked out for me in that sense. I don't hate the game. The game is cool. It you know, I, I find it really fun, but it could have been a lot better. And in this in this next installment, when they make two things that like I said before, things that we definitely need. We need to definitely fix that thing with the multiplayer. We need, I mean, we need more options. More, we should have options to all the main characters in the Star Wars universe. That should just be out there. I mean, if I, if I had to tell you like certain things that I would like to see that would be really cool, like I give you an example, like the I'm trying to remember um, the Star Wars that had the Apprentice in. That was a cool game. I mean, it was real mad fun. I would like to see aspects like that. I mean, really. Or uh, like Old Republic. But just better. I mean, you know, incorporate those into the battlefront. You know, have it even... I would even like it if they had something where you could do a character customization. Build your own Jedi or Sith Lord or in between from the ground up. That would just be awesome. Because, I mean, they have a large universe of stuff to grab from to incorporate within the Star Wars games. There's so much that they can do. And, you know, the thing about it is if you want to make something like this and you want various facets, I feel that you should take the time and effort to provide those things for us, the consumer. It would definitely make us much happier in the end, rather than just getting a half-assed game. And also, I'm going to jump on the DLC again. It's not enough to sit there and release maps. Don't get me wrong, the maps are cool and they're nice, but I want more out of my game than just maps. I really, I really do. If you make this new Battlefront, 
Look, you know, I know I can't stop DLC from happening. Give the player enough options where it doesn't feel like it's a where it feels like an unfinished game. That's that's what I'm talking. We want more options. One of the biggest complaints I got with this game was there was no story mode. Sure, you had a lot of the main iconic characters in the game and you had like missions but there was really no mainstream story which kinda I guess for a lot of people felt felt that it was like lacking in that sense I mean you had like snippets of certain story events that took place and you could play I guess you know the good or bad but the thing about it it was kinda inconsistent in that sense like somebody was telling me, you know, that one of the older Star Wars games where you could you could fight enemies on the ground and then jump into a ship and fight enemies on the Death Star. Now that would be a nice option to have. You know, this was on the older system. Now I've heard stuff along the lines like, oh, you know, the PlayStation is not uh strong enough to to do stuff like that. That's bull crap. My whole thing is this is, you know, these next generation games, I feel that people are holding back. People are not putting their all in these games. We, we have not tapped into the full potential of the PS4. And the fact that they want to come out with another one, I think is ridiculous. It's really, really ridiculous. I I don't I don't care about the PlayStation Neo, you know, they're supposed to be some type of standard. Well, my standard should be this. Give us better games. That's the standard that I want to see. I want better games. You come out with this Battlefront, come correct. I'm not going to buy the next Battlefront, the Star Wars Battlefront, if it doesn't have what I'm looking for. Don't get me wrong. The one I got is cool. But it is it lacks. It really, really lacks. And the fact of being that I have to, you know, in order to get some of the other things that I need to get, I have to get DLC. That I don't fair. I don't feel is fair to me. I look at it like this. You know, it would be cool if I could just jump in any vehicle that I want and start using it. Use any weapon I want and start using it. It'd be nice if I could just have a regular character with a lifesaver rather than just have a gun all the time and shooting and having bombs all the time. Yeah, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, even if you even if it's a situation where I had to work my way up to buy those items, at least it would be helpful knowing that I could I could ex I could get them without having to sit there and get, oh, I need a D DLC pack. Yeah, you know, that stuff is freaking ridiculous. I think it's I think it's even more ridiculous if you look. I mean, if you look back years ago, you know when you got expansion packs to games, it was like it was actually worth something. Nowadays, you know, they just give you something here and there. It's just kind of like you know you've taken the concept of a of what is an expansion pack and cut it up into little bite sized chunks and say okay. Well, when you get this, it's gonna be really great, but it ain't really that great. You know, it's just it's just kinda of like, you know, it's like a tease. It's like you're holding a carrot over my head and telling me, you know, if you want that carrot, you're gonna to have to work really extra hard for nothing just to get it. That being said, that's all I'm gonna say about that the battlefront, the supposed battlefront to I you know I definitely look for more in 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 a game. I hope I hope they really do something else with that. Um, I also saw it's supposed to be an old Republic game coming out PS4. I have mixed feelings on that. I really I really do. I guess my feeling is you know looking at there was an old Republic on the PC. You know if you come out with it on on the console. I would like it. I would like it to look as good as Battlefront, and you know, as cool and move as cool. 
I, I, I don't want it to be lacking. That's the thing, you know. It, I don't know. I, like I said, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely, we'll definitely see what happens with that uh, game. Now, moving on with other games that's uh, coming out, there is um, apparently there's a new uh, God of War coming out. Now, which now which is interesting about that is it's kind of it's kind of up in the air as far as what the whole story what is behind that. I mean, the game looks awesome. It, it looks absolutely beautiful. From 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 where I can stand, I just hope for the most part that game does not suck. I mean that would be a sin and shame if it did. It would really it really. I mean from the God of War franchise, we've gotten a lot of a lot of really a lot of great games, and the play controls have really always been good. The story has been great. I can't really complain about it. This had a little bit of everything that I wanted. In a game, you know, it's kind of like the Devil May Cry uh, games, and in, in, in that certain regards, but uh, it looks it looks really interesting. I'm I'm really fascinated to see where we go with this. You know, I just I just hope, you know, it's it's good. That's all I'm saying. I mean, the you know it, the movement and everything. It looks it looks awesome. It looks a great game, but you know, looks can be deceiving. You know, um, moving on to uh, other games that uh, that uh, I seen that uh, looks looks interesting. There's a new Spider-Man game also coming out as well. And um, from my, from what I look, I mean, from what I'm looking at of it, it it looks really it looks really cool. I mean, it's got a lot of dimension. I uh, you know it it seems to be moving smoothly. I mean, from what I'm, I mean, looking at from a visual point point of view, actually, I'm looking at it right now. I'm hoping, you know, this is actually how the game actually moves, and this is just not like cinematic crap, because you know, you know, you, you know how with a lot of games and stuff, they, you know, they they like to show off their trailers and stuff, and you know, and you know, the question is, I'm I'm asking if that's the way the game really looks. Or was it something else? And it's is you know, and it's coming out for the PS4. They changed the outfit up a little bit, which uh, you know looks it, it's all right. He's kind of like a white spider. I don't know what the deal is with that. Maybe you know we'll find out later on what the deal was with that. I kind of wish they would have just stuck with the old Spider-Man outfit, but you know we'll see. I know there's supposed to be a new Spider-Man movie coming out. I don't know where that's going to go. I'm, you know, I'm kind of like, at this point, I just don't even care anymore. You know what, what they do with Spider-Man, because I, you know, Sony. I know Sony and Marvel. They're they're supposed to be doing, you know. And looking at, don't get me wrong. I know they had Spider-Man: Civil War, and people say, oh, you know, Spider-Man stole the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing about it is, you know. As a true comic book fan, when it comes to histories and stuff, you know, I know, you know, there's certain things, how things are. There's a lot of things that didn't add up with how Spider-Man came into that. You know, that, if I had to put it, if I had to break it down, you know, it wasn't, I hate to say it, wasn't correct at all. It was wrong, 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 and wrong all the way around. But that's another story for another time. Moving on. There's a, another game that really, really looks interesting to me. And I'm going to tell you, it has both mystery and intrigue for me in many, in many sense. I mean, it, it feels, I, I mean, it feels like a movie in many respects. And, you know... The visuals are awesome. The name of this, the you know, the name of this game that's coming out is Detroit Become Human. Yeah, that 
this game that's this 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 game that's come that's coming out is very interesting because I believe you playing a or Android of a type. And I'm looking at it right now. This is another game, you know, you you get to gather clues and information. So it's got um, aspects of a detective type game. The acting seems really good from what I can see so far. And I'm hoping, you know, once again, you know, from what I'm seeing, as always, I hope this is the way the game actually looks from a visual point of view. Because, I mean, you know, it's a lot of really cool camera angles and stuff from here. You know, it looks really solid. There doesn't seem to be no type of pixelation whatsoever. Everything is moving in perfect unison with each other. One other uh, beautiful thing about this game I, I, I like is it's uh, it's a type of game where you get to make choices and you know you can choose how you go about things and every aspect of a choice that you make impacts the next thing in the game and you know I really like games like that because you know it kind of brings me back to the days when I used to play uh, Fable. And that was a game where you had a lot of choices and so forth. You know, you could choose to be evil or you could choose to be good. Now, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's a situation here where you can just choose to be evil or whatnot. But I think you're just, I think with this game, as it seems, you're already in a set position of, of um, I guess, where I guess where you at you are already playing a role and you know now the role that you're playing you, you you're making decisions and you, those decisions impact the game or how you choose to go about certain things but even still with that you know with with that it still looks like it's going to be a great game for what is you know for, for the way it looks so I'm I'm definitely looking forward to this Detroit become human. It really looks awesome. Um, moving on, Bandai Namco Entertainment. They're coming out with another Tekken. I think I mentioned this in my uh, previous video uh, as of. Now I'm um, looking at this. Uh, I can tell you the game looks awesome. It's The detail is is beautiful very 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 detailed you know even more detailed than um, Street Fighter 5 I you know I could definitely com I definitely commend Namco Entertainment for the work they they done it looks like it's gonna be a solid game I you know a lot of what I'm looking at of course is uh, cinematic It's basically kinda of like movie but of course, there is some from what I can see here. There's definitely some gameplay, and the gameplay looks really good. And as I said in our previous video, there seems to be some elements that's kind of like Street Fighter related that I noticed the way they're doing with the characters. There's definitely much more more diversity in the fighting style. I think it's even more interesting. The simple fact is that Akuma's in this game. Which is uh, fascinating because as as far as I as far as we can see, he looks like he's the only Capcom character. Of course, the joke I joke I made I, I made I told someone it looks like Akuma's gotten too, too I mean gotten so big he's outgrown Capcom. So I don't know what deal Capcom made with uh, Namco, Ban uh, Bandai Entertainment. I, I'm not sure. You know, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, it'll help Capcom because I know Capcom hasn't been doing so well since the uh, Street Fighter uh, Five launch, and it's really hurt them with that. So I'm hoping, you know, maybe with this, with you know, Kuma being in Tekken, maybe, maybe it'll it'll help lift Capcom up a little bit there. Um, moving on. Uh, another game that's really good um, that I saw at the one of the E3 showings on well, online is um, this Horizon Zero Dawn. Now this game 
has me definitely asking the question, like, like, what's, you know, where is this going to go? I mean, it looks really interesting, you know, you, you, you have a female character, you know, she's in this, like, world where it looks like it's all, I guess, I guess kind of like mountains and stuff, but, you know, you kind of have, like, technology and stuff there but it's kind of weird the animals and stuff look kind of mechanical looking you know but but you know her world looks very simplistic in a sense it's kind of like you know like a very tribal and you know the the backgrounds are very smooth and lush you know i'm looking at the sky here the sky looks so real i mean it moves you it moves beautifully and I'm I'm really hoping I'm really hoping this game is everything that they're saying it's going to be. I really do. I hope I hope the gameplay is great. You know, I hope the story is great. You know, it definitely looked like a game that I would definitely want to play. There's not and there's not a lot of games out there that I like. There's some here and there, and you know, but this one definitely caught my interest because you know the way it looked. It kind of reminds me uh, of Strider just a little bit, just a little bit, because of the you know the the animal life. Some of the animal life looks kind of mechanical or partly mechanical and biological. It looks like you do have some regular animals roaming, but. You know, I guess you kind of is one of them is one of those little lovely mysteries you kind of you got to kind of figure out as you go on in this game. But you're using a lot of primitive type things in your in your adventures to try to survive and find answers of what's going on. And it seems to me just like uh, the Detroit game I was telling you about. You also have choices as well. So I'm curious. I'm very curious to see where, you know, what's going to happen with this. Because a lot of people are talking and a lot of people like the way this game looks as well. Um, that being said, with that, I'm going to move on, on to the next game. Um, now, um, there's supposed to be a Resident Evil 7. Now, someone told me, a friend of mine told me, there's a, a VR style of this. You know, I'm not really interested in the VR mode. And, uh, you know, I can, and I've, I've already had my video rant about VR. Look, I don't hate VR. You know, and I'm not going to sit there and knock other people for, for wanting to play VR. But... I, I, you know, one thing I do understand, I understand these companies are pushing VR. They're really pushing really hard for VR. But I do not want this to be a situation where this becomes a standard for us. I mean, it's bad enough I need internet to run my games. And, you know, it's bad enough we have to pay a service for, you know, certain things. You know, I could, I could complain and complain. And some people, I know some people are going to say is, Oh, you know, nothing's for free. You know, if you want these certain things, you know, this is this is this is how it is or whatever. You know, I mean, I guess I could sit there and just say the hell with it and just go to PC. But even with that, I would it would still be an issue still because there's still games out there that you know that you still need in an internet access. I can tell you right now, when Diablo three came out. And I first set up there, and I and you know I had the game. I couldn't get online. Really, I really it was online access only. And there was a lot of people that happened to, and people were mortified, and and literally they was this really pissed off about that. You know, I, my thing is, as a as a consumer, I feel we shouldn't have to go through that type of thing. I mean. I looked at games and played games, you know, going all the way back to the 80s. And, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff. 
and you know, looking at where we at now, don't get me wrong, we've kind of fallen a long way. But I feel in the process of where we are, I feel we've kind of forgotten ourselves. We need to remember from where we came from and, you know, looking at how we got here in the first place. That's the thing. That's the thing that's, you know, people need to be reminded. You know, the VR, that's fine. But don't make it a standard. Don't make it, well, I got to have VR to play this game. That's not fair to, to everyone. You know, that's... You know, that's, that's, that's basically, that's like slavery, the way I see it. But I think I ranted on enough about that. Let me tell you what I think about this Resident Evil game so far from what I see. I mean, it looks to me, it, it looks like it has a lot of, I mean, detail. I, mean, I love it. It's... You know, it definitely makes you, it's got that grit to it. It makes you feel like you're there. I definitely, I'm definitely feeling the horror experience. Now, from what I'm looking at, I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> that this is the gameplay. I don't know for sure if this is actually, the, if this is all like the game or whatnot. Because, you know, this kind of reminds me of that, um, what is it, that Silent Hill game they made and um, that got scrapped. And it, and it looked really, really good. It has, it has elements of that particular Silent Hill, that particular Silent Hill game. I can't remember to save my life. Like, the rooms are really detailed. You know, everything's nice and smooth. It's almost like you can touch it, you know. And I guess I feel like... You know, there, you know, I would, I hope, I hope this, I hope this is it. If this is this the way they're going with this, cool, you know, and I hope they don't scrap it. And I really hope it's a really, really good game. Because, I mean, it looks, I mean, it looks visually, looks really, looks real. And it has, like, definitely that horror element. And, you know, I, I love Resident Evil. Sure, there were a lot of, uh, not so great games that came out of Resident Evil franchise, but there were also a lot of great games that came out of uh, Resident Evil. That's a classic. I mean, that's like Capcom our way. You know, that's uh, another. I mean, I guess I could say is you know, Capcom has made a lot of great games in it, in their time, and you know, it's. I'm looking forward to see well, where we go from here with uh, this Resident Evil. And um, that and that's pretty much it for the roster of uh, games so far. I I'm pretty much uh, pointed out most of the games. I'm trying to think. Did I miss anything? There might have been one other game I did not touch base on. Let me see. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm trying to see. Or oh, maybe there's two more games. Two more games I didn't touch base on. Um, well, yeah, there actually is. Uh, there is a game called For Honor. And it's kind of like, a, it looks like a samurai viking type thing going on. And it looks, it looks really cool, you know. I'm not too sure about the gameplay. You know, I'm kind of like iffy on on that. You know, I mean, it looks good visually. Guess I'm curious about the story, and you know, it looks. I mean, it looks good as far as like visually and moving, and depth and everything. But I'm not sure about the gameplay. This is kind of like a maybe. You know, those of uh, those of you that I guess. That like Viking type stuff or you know samurai. And I guess my curious question is, you know, do you only get to play the Vikings only, or can you play a samurai? I don't know. You know, let's be interesting to see. Um, there is another game. One more. This is gonna be. This is gonna be my last game that I'm going to do a thing on. Um, this one is called Matterfall. 
Now, this game, this, uh, you know, from what I'm seeing, it, it looks like, I mean, the trailer, I mean, you know, it, it looks cool visually. I don't know if this is how the game looks. It looks cool. That's all I can say. It looks cool. But I don't, I couldn't tell you if the blank gameplay is going to be great or what. You know, it just looks, it just like, it looks like visual candy in a nutshell. So, you know, it's something, it's something I'm curious to see where we go from with this one. And that's, that's all I can say with that. It looks, I mean, it looks, it's an interesting game. You know, it, it's, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of sci-fi look to it there. And um, that's all I can pretty much say with that. And um, I guess uh, this is going to pretty much conclude this. Oh, my goodness. This video is running like 30 minutes long. You know, I don't know if anyone's going to look at this, but we'll see. My 30-minute rant, 31-minute rant. This is uh, Q-Doma. And um, I'm going to pretty much wrap this up for the most part overall i hope all y'all have a good day and y'all enjoy my yourselves and um i hope you like this video that i did about the uh up and coming games for this year and maybe next year and um i'll see y'all in the future this is q doma tv well Rubius All Coach channel and my 31 minute rank. Thank you.